So we have seen test for mean. Let us now move to the test for variance. Okay. So again in this case also we are first of all going to import numpy as np and we will also import scipy.stats module. So we can consider probably the same sample data we had, this one. So sample data is 18.3, 20.1, 19.7, 21.2, 22.5, 20.8, 18.9 and 21.6. And in this case obviously sigma naught square will be there, right? So hypothesized value for your uh, variance would be given under the null hypothesis. So we will write null var that is variance. Let that be 4 suppose and alpha is 0.05. Now when you are calculating the sample statistic, you should keep in mind that you are dealing with the test for variance. It means it would require your sample variance because the chi-square statistic is n minus 1 times sample variance divided by the hypothesized value that is null variance over here, sigma naught square. So we will calculate the sample statistics. So the first value could be sample underscore var. So this one would be calculated using numpy's var function. And here we will write this sample data. This is an array containing the observations. And we will calculate the GDOF as 1. Okay. And we can also calculate the sample size. So length of this sample var okay now we will calculate the test statistic so chi squared value that let that be so it is n minus 1 right so sample size minus 1 into sample variance so sample underscore var divided by the null var that you have right sigma naught square okay so whatever is the formula we just go ahead with that and sorry this should be not length sorry i've written sample data yeah so you have calculated the test statistic. We can also have the degrees of freedom. So degree of freedom is easy to see. It is just sample size minus 1. Now we will calculate the critical values. So I could use the same thing here. Earlier we used this t-test. Here we would be using your chi-squared. So critical value right would be stats dot chi square dot ppf. So it would be again 1 minus alpha. And here again we would on the left tail it would be chi square ppf. This one will also be chi square alpha by 2. And this one would be 1 minus alpha because it is not symmetric. Okay. So in this case we will have. We will not just consider minus of that, it would be 1 minus alpha by 2. Okay, so we compare like chi square is greater than chi square u, that is your upper tail value of alpha at the degree of freedom n minus 1. So you keep in mind that here also we are using this PPF function, so that is why 1 minus alpha is coming. So it will return this chi square score such that the area to the left of this is. 1 minus alpha. So that is why we are writing 1 minus alpha. Okay, it is the way that this particular PBF function is defined in Python. That is why we are writing it is 1 minus alpha. Now we can check for different tests. So let us do the right tail test. 
So the right tail test, what will happen? If we check the condition that if chi squared value, if this chi square is greater than critical value underscore, right? Right, you will print. Right tail test. Reject H not. Else, what you will print? That you fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, if you remember from your theory, what we do is we have chi square value. This is your upper uh, upper tail value. So chi square u. We use this notation. Chi square suffix u was there. If that happens, then you are going to reject the null hypothesis. Otherwise, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Likewise, you can write for the other two tests as well. So we could easily just use this for the left tail test. Chi square would be less than the left value and here it would be chi square left tail right so it would be chi square is less than chi square lower tail value for 1 minus alpha and degrees of freedom n minus 1 so here you would write it as left tail tail so you know the hypothesis also for different tests what will be the hypothesis so here in right tail the alternative would be that sigma square is greater than 4 because that is your null variance and in this case it would be that sigma square is less than 4 just the reverse of that and finally you will have the two tail test in two tail test we check in either direction so we will check the value if chi square this is less than chi square value this one critical value 2 Or if it is on the other side, so chi square is greater than this critical value, the right tail critical value or the upper tail value. Okay, if that is the case, you would print for the two tail test, you are going to reject the null hypothesis, otherwise, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. This is basically chi square is less than the left tail critical value that is chi square we used suffix l for this and in this case if chi square is greater than chi square u right so this is based on alpha by 2 and this one is based on 1 minus alpha by 2 so these are your codes so in all three cases we fail to reject the null hypothesis and if we look at the critical value on the right side that is a right tail critical value it is 14.06 and what was your chi square value it is 3.472 so your chi square value is actually less than the right tail critical value so that is why you reject it let us look at what happens to the left tail so it is 2.16 so again your chi square value is not less than that that is why you reject it and sorry you fail to reject it is not rejection but you fail to reject these and finally you will consider for the two tail test let us look what is the value for this it is 1.68 and to the right it is 16 <coughs> and your chi square value lies in between these two that is 3.47 so chi square is neither less than this nor greater than this so that is why we cannot reject it and we say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis so for this same thing we can also in addition write your p value approach so maybe we can add over here only so let us calculate 
the p value for chi square so p value is 1 minus stats dot chi square because here we are working with the chi square distribution dot cdf here you will write chi squared and the degrees of freedom so first of all it will compute the cdf for this chi squared value that you have obtained here and since we are interested in the tails we need to find the probability of observing a z or sorry a chi square value as extreme as what you have already observed so you subtract it from 1 and you will get your p value now you have to check if p value is less than alpha or not so if p value is less than alpha you print reject h not else print fail to reject so again it is giving you fail to reject so let us look what is the p value here it is 0.83 yeah so p value you can see that it is greater than your uh, alpha value that is 0.05 so that is why you fail to reject the null hypothesis and you would conclude that it is in fact in this case if you see depending upon whether it is a right tail or left tail so you can find out the value okay so we are done with the test for variance also so now last we are going to see the test for proportion okay as you can see the steps are almost same in all the cases you just have to be cautious with your test statistic that whatever is given to you and uh, then you have to be careful while calculating the critical values okay test for proportion so first of all let us write import this sci pi dot stats as stats so let us define success over here because it is um, your binomial distribution so you will have success and the total number of trials so let me write success as 40 suppose it is 48 Right, this is the number of success. And then you will have total number of trials. So total trials. Let us suppose it is hundred. So you can set up the null hypothesis. So you can consider null proportion as say point four. So this this is the specified value for the population proportion. So p not and alpha is let us take it again as point zero five only. Now you can calculate the sample proportion. So earlier you were calculating the sample statistic. There was mean and variance was involved, and now you will work with the sample proportion. So you can say sample underscore prop. If I use this, so it would be successes success divided by total number of trials and now you are ready to calculate the test statistic because in this case what is your test statistic it will be p hat minus p not and you divide it by the square root of p not into 1 minus p not divided by n so we have to write this entire thing so let me write sample prop minus Null underscore prop. Okay, sample proportion minus null. That is the hypothesized value. You divide this by. You will have null proportion into one minus of that, one minus p not. 
So this one would be again divided by here we will be on more bracket. So this will be divided by the total number of trials and whole raised to the power 0.5. Okay, so P hat minus P naught divided by P naught into 1 minus P naught divided by total trials and whole raised to the power 0.5 that is square root. Okay, it's correct. So now we can calculate the critical values. So critical values to the right side it will be stats dot norm we can use norm because it is binomial and we can use the approximation over here. So and note that there will be no degrees of freedom. Left again we will just replace your chi square with your normal distribution and degrees of freedom will also be removed because in normal distribution we do not have it. And this again can be written as minus of this because it is again symmetric. Okay. So minus of what is in the left tail. Okay. So now you can write the left tail and right tail. If your z star value is greater than critical underscore value underscore right that is the right tail critical value in that case what it will print it will print that is a right right tail test you will reject the null hypothesis okay so you will calculate the z star value that is the test statistic and you will compare it with the critical value. If it is greater than that you will say that you will reject the null hypothesis else you say that print you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Same thing you can do for your left tailed as well. right? So, right tail basically means that we are working with H0, null hypothesis would be the proportion is less than the threshold value that is P0 and right tail versus your alternative would be that P is greater than P0, right. So, that is why your critical region is defined in this way also. So, let us write for your left tail and two tailed as well. So, for left tailed we can write. So, here in the left tail we change this critical region it becomes z star is less than minus of z alpha so here it would be left tailed value so this is already negative so you fail to reject the null hypothesis again if it is two tailed so here let me make it left and right left here For the two tail test, we have to look at both the tails. So z star is less than your critical value left, left tail critical value or if z star is greater than the right tailed. This, this is your rejection region. Okay. So you will print that two tail test over here you will reject it otherwise you fail to reject the null hypothesis so once we run this we will find that we fail to reject the null hypothesis okay you can also look at uh, suppose let first of all look at sample proportion what is sample proportion is 0 
and what is your z star it is 1.632 okay so your critical value is 1.6448 so z star actually it is not greater than your left right tail critical value but is very near okay maybe if you change one or two values then it would actually be rejecting the null hypothesis again let us look at the left tail critical value it is minus 1.644 okay so again z star is not less than that so we just leave it we fail to reject it and likewise you can see that it will happen for the two tail test also so basically we have seen the codes for test for single mean variance and proportion and in the next week we will look how to write the code for the two sample problem right so here you just have that mu not is greater than mu is greater than mu not or less than right so there you will be considering two populations and the difference between them would be of interest okay so we will see that in the next week thank you